20 years, and all I got was this bottle of herbs. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I got three beautiful children and plenty of members. What's up, y'all? Damn. So if y'all coming up here tonight, there's a lot of wise, because I finally got the mics working. But y'all know me, I'm Dirt God Raven Max, so I'm loud and I ain't gonna talk into no microphone until I got to. Feeling crazy, so we're gonna do a nature boy check off the top. Y'all know what it is. If you don't know what it is, you'll figure it out. One, two, three. Woo! For those of y'all uninitiated into the gospel of Southern God, the futurism as prophesied by Dirt God Raven Mac, I shall explain what a nature boy check is. Life is a goddamn pain in the ass. It frustrates you, it hurts you, you struggle, and you try to get ahead, and you can't get ahead. We're dealing with the ebbs and flows of everything, and the hidden riptides that knock our ass back, and people disappear daily. They fall off of social media. We no longer see them, and we don't know what happened to them. Some of them dead, some of them hurt, some of them homeless, some of them struggling with addictions, and we never hear from them again, and we don't know what happened. So when we do the Nature Boy check, we keep all that in mind, and at one, we breathe in through our nose, slosh it around in your mouth, through your esophagus where you want to say things but you don't. Two is going through your lungs, swirling around in your chest, unclenching your chest. Three is down in your gut, getting all that gut floor and all that tension in your intestines. And when we get to three, you let it all out with a big fat blue, whether it's good, bad, happy, sad, sorrowful, or tomorrowful, whatever you got in your heart, that's what you let out. That's what Southern God Futurism is, and this is what we call a haiku slam. How many people know what haikus is? I know y'all know. For the purposes of our stage, we consider haiku any short poem, 17 syllables or less. If you want to make it about nature, you want to make it poetic, you want to flip the syllables per line, you can do whatever you want as long as it's 17 syllables or less. That's the only requirement we got. How this works, I'm going to call two people up. They're going to stand on each side of the stage. Y'all can see I got a purple flag on my right and a green flag on my left. Purple going to go first because that's my favorite color. That's one of my three favorite colors. Green's going to go second because that's another of my three favorite colors. They each read a haiku. I got three judges scattered in the crowd. Y'all got two flags to match it. You will hold up the flag for whichever one you choose, whatever your heart feels, whatever your brain feels, whatever your gut feels. If you zoned out, just go with the vibes. Pick what's right. It's three flags, so two out of three flags is going to win. So it's not on any one of you. So don't feel stressed, don't feel nervous, don't feel, damn, this is too much pressure. It's not too much pressure. This is a low key environment, man. Don't let my loud ass fool y'all. I'm a laid back dude. This is supposed to be fun for everybody, including those that are judging, because you are judging with a non judgmental heart. Know what I'm saying? Whoever wins the round, congratulations, you won a round. The loser goes first, winner goes again, we go to a predetermined number. We'll figure out what that is as we move through the tournament. We will also have a battle rule where anybody who has a couple haiku can come up or anybody who lost in the main slam. And it's one and one, loser gets off. We do it until there's one person left and they win the battle roll. You know what, they get $10. You know why they get $10? Because I got $100 cash money in my pocket sponsorship from Joy Menagerie, which supports these things. We have already given out, I'm not good at math, but I think we have given out around $1.3 billion this year to publics to write the haiku. We are easily the largest financial supporter of poetry in this city. UVA be damned. They ain't got nothing on me, y'all. Nah, but for real, you get $10 for winning the battle war, you will get $25 for winning the main slam, and the runner-up will get $15. And, because we have a title match for our championship, this is only invite only. You're either the champion or you get a personally selected invitation to be part of the best of 19. So both the artists in our main event will get $25 for the efforts tonight, too. Thank y'all. Now, I don't do this normally, but I'm going to do this tonight. Does anybody have any questions about anything? Need anything explained? Because, see, this is interactive. So I need interactions. If you're judging, if you're listening, this ain't no, like, quiet poetry reading or you like. I mean, I want you to be respectful, and if your respectful way is to be quiet and just soak in the vibe, so be it. But if you feel something, be loud. Do what you got to do. So is there any questions? That's my man Silver right there videoing this. If you don't want to be videoed, let me know. We will take you off. Like, we will, I say, Silver, cut the damn camera off, man. You can't film now. 
we will take care of it, but he can document me. We might have something about haiku slams in the future, or he might be called to testify against me at some point. I don't know. <laughs> but we shall see. All right, so I got anybody else who wants to be in this thing? I got nine names on here. So make it be number 10. If you got like 15 haiku in your pocket, in your head, in your phone, wherever you got it, come on up. If not, I'm going to go ahead and get started anyways. And you know what? Since we got a couple people doing this for the first time, a couple people still writing, we're going to set it off like this. Coming up on the purple side, this person has been, oh wait, I didn't tell y'all the main thing. We're doing this in Charlottesville and Richmond the same week this month, yep, yep. next month, and November. You know why? November 30th, we're going to have our first ever live stream Southern Gothic Futurist Haiku Super Slam on the little tiny screens for anybody in the world to see. So as we compete here, we are determining the field of eight select super hype top-notch competitors, and hopefully both bottle champions I have at that point will be in it. We will have eight people just blow that one up. So you can flexing your skills for that too to maybe be an internet sensation down the road. With that in mind, coming up on the purple side, my co-conspirator, my better half, my worst half, my partner in crime, my partner in everything else. Y'all get, not to somebody else. Nah, no, y'all get up for Dolly. <laughs> Dolly gonna be representing purple. Coming up on the green side will be me. I'm representing green. We will go best of five. Sound good? First one to win three. Purple goes first. Dolly, go ahead. Judges, y'all ready? Hold your flags up high because there's a bright light shining in my eyeballs so I need to be able to see them. Setting timer. I don't know. Hey, can, hey, can one of y'all figure out how to cut these on maybe? Ooh, that's better. That works. That Thank works. You. Thanks. <clears throat> Setting timer to write haiku with greater efficiency. Virginia's finest gas station fried chicken grease stains my steering wheel. <laughs> Judges. All right, one to nothing. I'm up, Dolly. You get to go first. Down one to nothing. It's the wrong damn call. Did you just give yourself more points? No, I don't want to. Just go see. That's good though. Y'all yeah, watch it. Staying up late every night watching soccer. No time for sex. <laughs> the impermanence of life has no bearing on how bright the moon is. Dolly took that one, one to one. So y'all see how this works. We got a battle, ebb and flow, bob and weave. Now I get to go first because I lost that round. Green glow of kudzu enveloping a dirty southern town's outskirts. Writing haiku in kudzu field, goat chews note card, di digesting poetry. <laughs> Dolly took that one up to the one. And you see, when you have a stack of haiku, you can pick to match your dealt first. It's all part of the game, y'all. I'm down to the one. You're going to beat me. <laughs> Barbecue chicken hiding under tinfoil in a cookout's last hour. <laughs> blaze orange visible a block away. Dirt God ablaze with tender strength. Oh, I took that one. They don't want to believe I'm tender. <laughs> <laughs> two to two. Whoever wins this one moves deeper into the night. Learning to be a better friend to myself. Kinder, less judgment. Memories of a home that never existed. Right. Romantic hindsight. Now the unfortunate thing about that is, 
I got to earn my spot in my own super tournament. And I just got swept off the stage in the first round. Obviously, I got to step my game up. All right, good. Now I can concentrate on what comes naturally, and that's talking shit. Coming up now on the purple side, I'm going to call up. They've been in this thing for a few months and kicking ass and actually challenged for the final two months back. Y'all give it up for ISIS. And on the green side, this is a battle royal specialist dipping into the full tournament for once. Y'all give it up for EJ Hug. Zero, my digital scoreboard, going to three again. Last and time I did all pickup lines and it totally flops. So do all pickup lines again and see if it works. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Intelligence combined with stubbornness. I just you get to go first. Let's play Titanic. You get to be the iceberg and I'll go down. <laughs> EJ. <laughs> Good now. Thank you. Get your vibes right. Wild bluegrass woman, mahogany guitar, her green hollers away. Judges. Somebody got to choose. Don't look at each other. <laughs> All right. Isis took the first one and that was close. Now, one judge's instruction I did not give, and I'm going to tell y'all now because we almost saw it. You got to decide. Because the worst mistake you can make as a judge, if it's a particularly good round like that one, and both of the other judges hold up different color flags, and you're still sitting there thinking, and the whole room is going to turn. <laughs> Wait for you to flip the flag. So go quick. EJ, you get to go first. Feral pines, six years gone. Screams from another side. The dead grieve too. Isis. Oh no, I'm so sorry. We should get you out of all that wet clothing. <laughs> Judges. Alright. <laughs> EJ Hunt. Then we took that one one to one. I'm a never nude though. <laughs> one to one. Isis, you get to go first. Ooh. Clothes are expensive, but at my place, clothes are 100% off. <laughs> Grown man whines at me. I reckon his mama must have really loved him. <laughs> Judges. Alright, EJ Huff took that one up two to one, four to three, two to one, Isis. You gotta right. pick up the crowd with this I line. know. Are you interested in casual hookups or should I wear a tie? <laughs> EJ. Spend half my life looking for something I lost, half howling at the news. Judges! And that one goes to EJ, so Isis does not advance, but still was very nice. And if anybody in the crowd was interested in any of Isis's pickup lines, we will talk to her after the event. Thank you. Dave, you get to go first. 
green teethy plants rise from pipes that lead down into a dark blue soup. So. Apothic bread, fruits, meats, and cheese. This hot summer's eve, sentient bliss. Judges. The first round goes to Dave. So you get to go first, down one to nothing. September scaries, listless nights in O'Carry, you into winter. Dave. A bony turtle shakes, reassembles itself, resumes its patrol. Alright, so took that one. I like that one, Dave. But I'm be honest with y'all, I love turtles. Dave, get to go first, one to one. A winged turtle floats gently up and down. Going nowhere else. <laughs> overalls under the overalls. He says he's a never nude man. <laughs> Judges. That one went to Zoe as well, two to one. So this is my orange R overalls. I got about seven pairs of overalls of different R's and vibes today was orange, so I wore these. And I always match my socks as well. So. <laughs> I'm not a never nude, but I am an always sock matcher. <laughs> Dave, down to the one, doing great. I love the turtle hype, too. The crowd's a little bit hard on them, though. I don't know what's up with them. I don't know about the fact that the turtle's carrying the way the world. We all got our path of learning in life. <laughs> yep, my uh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> 100 gold coins spinning, floating in the air, promise a new life. And they're almost all in there. The funny way you look reminds me of how long it took to not care. Judges. And that one went to Zoe as well, so Zoe moves on. But Dave, I loved your haiku. Strongly is that if you are eliminated, we still have a battle royal. Please don't run off because this is a fun, share everything, pop up, look out type of poetry type of thing. So we ain't done with you this year. All right, coming up on the purple side, y'all give it up for Melly. Coming up on the green side, also making a haiku debut. Y'all give it up for Caitlin. Now, I apologize, I'm gonna talk about Caitlin for a second. I'm gonna tell y'all about Caitlin real quick. So my name is Dirt Guy Raven Matt. Don't tell anybody. But sometimes I write Dirt God on trains. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. But I got a tag that I do, and there's actually people that have my tag tattooed on their body. And I can tell you that Caitlin actually did the tattoo. Because yeah. Caitlin is an apprentice tattoo artist, a black lady tattoo artist. How long are they going to let you tattoo people? Assholes, right? <laughs> Eventually, you will be able to get tattooed by a constant, talented, creative young woman in the Shenandoah Valley. I'll let y'all know. Alright, y'all can still go to Black Raven because my boy works over there too. <laughs> Melly, you get to go first. Upside down crosses evoke more sparks in my soul than going to church. Oh, okay, okay, Caitlin. Mother Nature reigns. Mother Nature watch us fall. Mother is Judges. First round goes to Caitlin, up one to nothing, but that was a good round. We haven't had any weak poets yet tonight. It's all been good. And it's only going to get better. Hopefully, it may be Hopefully, it don't. Valley, one to nothing, you're down. To be poison oak is to be free from worry. She spreads without care. Caitlin. Crickets always sing a permanent audience. The moon's silent cheers. Judges. 
people coming strong tonight, y'all. One to one, one to one. We still in the first round, too. Caitlin, you get to go first, one to one. Why you gotta apologize? Wait, wait. I'm gonna say something right now. Don't nobody gotta apologize for Dirt God Raven backstage because this is something that got the futurism stage and it's all of y'all stages because once you're here tonight, you're a cousin. We're cousins because that's a non binary term. So you ain't gotta apologize for nothing on this stage. You hear me? You hear us. That's better. Okay, you get to go first, one to one. Skipping over rocks, disregarding them as mines, hurts waiting for disaster. My belly. Self-love leaves nothing. Self-love takes nothing from you, except self-hatred. Judges. And Caitlin took that one up two to one. Melly, you're doing wonderful. You're down two to one. We're going to three. Come with the sharpest dart. Or the gentlest put up it. Head rush, busy wave. Leave head, last box. Dug through a trash can. Things don't seem so bright. Illuminate your psyche. Find that inner light. Judges. Alright, Melly took that one two to two, so this is the knockout round. Whoever wins advances. Caitlin, you get to go first. They are ravenous. Their eyes malicious, vicious. The grill of the prey. Don't eat the acid. Do something natural instead. Eat psilocybin. <laughs> Judges. And Melly took it, y'all. So Melly is famous. Y'all give it up for Caitlin, though. And Caitlin, you was nervous about coming up here. You kicked the ass, yo. All right. Coming back up on the purple, coming up on the purple side. I'm calling them last because they put put in last. Still right. But two months ago. They won the slam. Y'all give it up for Kenzie. Now I'll make sure, before I go forward, do we have any late arrivals thinking about competing? But this is it. All right, coming back up on the green side, y'all give it up for Dolly. Life to open up into peace, rest, and sparkles. Judges. Kenzie's up one to nothing. Dolly, you get to go first. Got multiple envelopes. See, I love the different styles. Some people got notebooks, some people got phones, some people got envelopes. Building sanctuary to be without human expectation. Never be the same. Was it at least special to you? Judges. Dolly took that one one to one. Kenzie, you get to go first. One to one. 17 syllables really isn't enough to say anything. So that's my goal. <laughs> Dolly. Cheating on my soldier dog by looking at lost dogs with a pound. <laughs> Judges. Kenzie went up two to one. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! Dolly, get to go first. Down two to one. Going to three. List of places to travel when I have money and my dog dies. You took everything from me, snuffed out my innocence, my self worth, and it came back. Looking to absolve your guilt. There we go. Absolve. Judges. Dolly took that one to go two to two. Two to two. Whoever wins this one will advance. Kenzie, you get to go first. 
How many got an envelope still? I got it. Oh, my baby, my baby. <laughs> Did everyone go through this at some point? Is this how we prove ourselves to you? Darling. Scowling basic mom followed by joyous black clad teen rebellion. Judges? <laughs> We'll go to Kenzie, y'all! So Kenzie advances home. You might have two more rounds, Kenzie, so ten more if you advance. You got to win, you know, but you're doing good. Coming back up on the purple side, y'all give it up for India, a.k.a. E.J. Hall! Coming back up on the green side, y'all give it up for Zoe. Oh. Whoever wins this will advance to the final. Best of five right now. I can't sing, but I'm practicing. Because next Thursday night, I DJ at Blue Moon, and I got a mic with a vocoder effect, so I'm going to be saying crazy shit to y'all while I'm playing songs. So come out to Blue Moon next Thursday. DJ, you up first. Going to five. Going to three. Best of five. Three. Next. Rain leaves, frogs keen, robins lay blue eggs. Gay Koreans. Um. <laughs> so? Dance with me. Fucking prance with me. I swear I could use your embrace for good. Judges. That's going to go to EJ, up one to nothing, so down one to nothing. No hate, I just don't think there will be a second date. To my beard in high school, Jeb fucking Hammer. Who were we kidding, bitch? <laughs> Judges? And that's going to go to EJ, too. Up two to nothing. So you down two to nothing. But I know you got to come back in your heart. I can feel it. What do you need? What would help like you? What do you want? Um, that is, you need it. I don't know. You can tell me that's a good competitor. You know what? Anybody who signs this sheet is a good competitor. I know, that's why it's always hard. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. But you're amongst friends, so you can share, share, share. and you can flex your muscles. Thank you. Um, Priorities align more of the time and less on your dime. EJ. Charlottesville, Bermuda Triangle of the South meets centrifugal force. Judges? And DJ took it, y'all. Three to nothing. He advances to the final. But y'all give it up for Joe. <laughs> how many you got left, DJ? Danny, how many you think you got left for the final? Uh, it's probably probably enough. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right, coming back up on the purple side, y'all give it up for Melly. All right, I'm going to tell y'all something stupid. I got three kids. They 24, 19, and 15. So I don't do none of this stuff no more because they're grown and they're usually just embarrassed by me. But when they was little, and I keep thinking this with Melly, I think of Melly Mel. Y'all know the old school rapper? <laughs> And when my youngest was like a toddler, we found this pelican hand puppet. 
So I created this character named Pelly Pell the Pelican that just talked shit to my kid all the time. And it taught my kid how to talk the most amazing, wonderful shit. And that's the type of thing I did. And y'all know my kids. She talk, they talk a lot of shit. So Melly makes me think about the Pelican you know. And I've been wanting to do a hand puppet up here, but my girlfriend won't let me. <laughs> that's not even true. <laughs> God, actually, I wanted to do a marionette. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> and coming back up on the green side, y'all give it up for Kenzie. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Some of the greatest writers of all time have had ghost writers. Yeah. <laughs> Going to three. You get to go first, Melly. Four of pentacles. Squares cloud already wear the trees. Trees are the answer. Kenzie. Being poor is hard. You must live it, get it, it's worse than you think. Judges. Alright, Kenzie went up one to nothing. Off the quiet here, but okay. <laughs> 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 disarmed by my presence as a white guy with a beard, but I did grow up in rural Virginia, and I am pretty fucking crazy, and I have that in my head because I grew up poor and fucked up. So I can do a crazy-ass yell, and this ain't a nature boy yell. This ain't a nature boy check. This is another thing I do when I'm feeling it. I go, Raven's childhood game. Alright. Kenzie? Do you ever feel like life's more than you bargained for and you just had enough? Judge. Woo. Damn, yeah. Wait, wait. Well, y'all have a purple, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, Kenzie knocked my, knocked my ass off so much I thought I saw green. I didn't. One to one. Kenzie, you get to go first. Community care is an essential part of building a just world. Mm. Nelly. Hammer down the faith. Do not forget who you are. Hammer down ego. Judges. All right, that one goes to Kenzie. Two to one. Nelly, you get to go first. Down two to one. UVA was not tuned to my expectations, lack of discipline. Kenzie. Was there once a time when you thought the world was good and still loved your life? Judges. All right, Melly took that one, two to two. Whoever wins this one's will go to the final against Inya, a.k.a. E.J. Huff. Kenzie, you get to go first. You could save the life of someone overdosing. Please carry Narcan. Okay. Melly. <laughs> you want to give it up? Yeah. Okay. Um, All right, Kenzie won, y'all. <laughs> so we're going to be picking it in seven rounds. Okay. All right. So it's going to be Kenzie versus EJ, best of seven. In terms of overdose from the North End, I'm going to point out, and this sounds kind of macabre, but I got a table with books and zines. If y'all happen to get my issue 12, which is all gone now, on the back cover, no, 13. There's a blue one on the back cover. There was a picture of my friend Neil. He overdosed last February and died. I miss him every day, and I still send him DMs at least a couple times a week. It breaks my heart because he was younger than me, and he was brilliant, but he was broken just like me. Now he's gone. So that's real, y'all. Watch out for your friends. Yeah. Get our Narcan or Fentanyl test strips or needles or yep. anything. 
You can just find them on Seagull Harm Reduction on Instagram and Messenger. Yeah, Seagull Harm Reduction. They will train you too, so you know people dealing with patients. Don't just cut them loose. And I know you got to cut people loose sometimes because it's heartbreaking, man. It's a struggle. Like, I know. Trust me. I come from, I come from, my father died at 45, drug-related struggles. So I know. So, look out for your people and go get some shit, man. Community care ain't just about giving money to a GoFundMe when people mad about something. You got to do shit like that too, y'all. All right. Crowd choice. Y'all want a battle roar or the main event? What y'all want? Battle. Main battle roll. I heard battle roll first. What I hear, main event? Audrey. Battle roll. Audrey. 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 And we have an orange bottle champion, which has gone through a couple of hands, including mine, and now belongs to Audrey Parks. And we will have a green bottle champion eventually. And at our super haiku slam, we will crown an orange bottle, I mean a gold bottle, gold bottle, <laughs> ceremonial super slam champion. I do these because I can't afford to get title belts made because I'm not actually a wrestling promoter. So I find these bottles in the woods and spray paint them up and scribble my ass, ass style hand graffiti on there. And we put a name on it. And you can see right here it says 6823 Raven Back. I was the original holder of this. But it also says 82223 Audrey Parks. So y'all give it up for our defending orange bottle Southern Got the Futures Haiku Slam champion, Audrey Parks. <laughs> Good. Now, to challenge for these titles is best of 19. This is, I call them a haiku death match. You've got to be able to go deep into the haiku stack. You've got to flex deep skills and bob and weave with your opponent. So it's invite only. Challenger had never stepped to this stage until two months ago. And they have just absolutely blown my mind with their lyrical skills. And I think you finished in the final both times, didn't you? You did last month and the month before too, right? So y'all give it up for our challenger in our battle of the Audrey's, Audrey Strong. Audrey Perfect gets one, so it's one, two to one. 
you up two to one, Audrey. Audrey S. How do you get Audrey S. Up two to one. You get to go first. Uh, graph paper design of architecture divine, just palace dreaming. <laughs> hey girl, is your name Trauma? Because I'll never forget you. <laughs> Audrey P took that one, two to two. Audrey S, you have to go first. Have you tasted the spirit closer to you than your jugular veins? What light through yonder window breaks? That's the sun. It did that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you do? Okay, Audrey B goes up. Three to two. Three to two. Audrey S gets to go first. Clash your style. Your romanticist, a flame among gusts of mist, unresistible. Thank you so much for telling me the plots of movies I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey S. takes that one, three to three. Let me explain to y'all what she meant by that haiku. <laughs> three to three. Audrey P, you get to go first. Always practicing the art of sublimation because life's a gas. <laughs> Driving slow at night, I pass two girls. Fear filled eyes. I know that fear too. Judges. Four to three. Audrey S is up. Audrey P, you get to go first. Drawing boundaries is like building a fence. I can't do it alone. <laughs> uh, market apple stand, bread made by hand. Commerce, yes, we are surviving. Judges. Audrey S takes another one up, five to three. Audrey P, you get to go first, we're going to 10. Halfway there. May all beings know freedom from fear, etc., etc. <laughs> Trumpeting bellows louder than my courage to listen to its tune. Audrey P takes that one. Audrey S is still up five to four. You get to go first. Under her cloth veil, she's the cricket singing at midnight, never seen. She sells seashells by the seashore, but he sells paintings by them online. <laughs> <laughs> that one goes to Audrey S as well, six to four. Six to four, Audrey P, you get to go first. <laughs> She's a 10, but she overcommits and never sticks to the plan. <laughs> Touch the tall beech tree. Its bark is soft, fortified, deep humming of life. Judges. Audrey P took down them, six to five. Y'all be touching enough trees, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey S, you up, six to five, six to five, you'll go first. Six to five. Sour sumac cones weigh the thin branches low in generosity. Is it okay not to know what you want? Or should you know what you want? <laughs> Audrey has to look up. Seven to five. Audrey P down seven to five. You get to go first. Girl, are you an athlete? You're great at running away from your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Dear paths guiding me on the hunt for the white oak and wild cherry trees. Judges. That one goes to Audrey P. Seven to six. 
You have to go first, Audrey. That's seven to six. We creep up to that finish line. Great. This is how you be a champion. You gotta go deep in the stack. <laughs> If you see beauty, beloved beauty it is, glimpses of divine. Love always has a future, but is this love the future I want? <laughs> that one goes to Audrey S. Eight to six. All right, we're almost to the end, so we're going to do a nature boy check. We're going to do a variation on a nature boy check. Now follow along with me. You're trying to do a nature boy check and let it all out. Got pulled over by a cop, so. and he just took the license, and you know that your license is suspended. He's going back to his car to go look your license up. So you got to do a nature boy check to let it all out. But you got to do it softly within your car, so he don't think you're crazy. <laughs> Police pulled you over, and you're about to get a ticket for not having a license and potentially go to jail, depending on your outstanding when he warrants nature boy check. One, two, three. <laughs> Busted all of y'all. <laughs> Alright, Audrey B, you down eight to six. Get to go first. Oh no, I broke my funny bone. Can someone drive me to the laugh store? <laughs> <laughs> no words, all feelings when witnessing soft light beams warm in the evening. Judges. That one goes to Audrey P, 8 to 7. You're up 8 to 7, Audrey S, and you get to go first. Uh, Libra's golden scale, upon each, upon each disc my bones weighed ever so solid. Some star fell down, it fell out of the sky. The star that fell down was mine. Judges. <laughs> that one goes to Audrey S. Nine to seven. <laughs> Audrey P. You can go first. You got to run three in a row here. Practicing self care and practicing community care and love too. Audrey uh, S. I swim deep to home, where where the waters overflowed and filled my bedroom. Judges. And that went to Audrey Strong. Y'all give it up for Audrey. Woo! Be vulnerable in public. 
Express all your feelings in public. Because then you won't be having road rage 20 years down the road. You know what I'm saying? So that's my challenge. All right. Who I got want to be in this battle room? Anybody got a high school love? Come on up here. Let's see. I got Isis. And Sarah. Okay, so I'm gonna call them up one by one. That it? We got a stage. Y'all ever see a battle roll on WWF? Yep. They get to fight. They get thrown over the top rope. We go to the ones left. That's what we doing. Coming up on the purple side, y'all give it up for Isis. And coming up on the green side, y'all give it up for Zoe. get to go first. If you're trying to pick somebody up, this is your last chance. Okay. That bag will be cold tonight. Alright. I want to take you to the movies, but they won't let me bring a snack. Oh. <laughs> so? Management affirming my preferred pronouns. Thanks. I won't quit today. <laughs> so took it. Sorry. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Purple side, Ammon. Green side, Quay. So Ammon's making his debut. Quay, well, you won the battle hall two months ago, didn't you? Oh, okay. You made it to the final, though, didn't you? Oh, the big Oh, you made it to the final on the big side. That's right, and I gave you the magic spike. All right, Ammon. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I love striped sweaters. Be careful with my hand, please. Name's Freddy Krueger. What? <laughs> Surrounded by addiction, substance of the substances, all I want to do is save. Judges. Quay took that one. Y'all give it up for Ammon, though. Yeah. 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 Purple side, Sarah. Green side, H. You stay up here, Quay, because I'll call you again in a minute. Sarah, you get to go first. My cat peed in an outlet. Electricity is shot. Can't wash the dishes. <laughs> H. Cold, cold water. Drink it down. Breathing hard, sweat drips. Spent bodies entwined. Rest. Judges. And that's going to go to Sarah. I came here to pray. Off libations given in sacrilegious psalms because your Jesus still white. Judges. Y'all give it up, Jay. Go on, Purple side, Dave. Green side, Caitlin. Dave, you get to go first. Bouncing golden star, fill me with your rainbow light. Protect me from death. Hiding through the clouds, delicate with gravity, graceful at the peak. Judges. That one's going to go to Dave. Okay, that's a great one. Purple side, Philippe. Green side, so. I got all these wires up 
we are making people walk across the water down. Yes. Leap, you can go first. What is a human? Are we not Mother Nature? Why do we hurt her? So. Say you won't miss me. Play it out and you might see. I look better free. Judges. And that's the go to so. Sarah. Seems like a battle royal. Little down the field. Little battle royal. Quay, you get to go first. Sarah. 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 I've named my plants after 80s actors. Leifer Sutherland has died. <laughs> hey, hold on, judges. Hold on. Let me check this mic. <coughs> check, check. Alright. What we're going to do, we're going to give Quay a Nature Boy check, and we're going to read these with this round again. Nature Boy check, it goes down into our heart and our gut and fills us with the confidence to know that we in a safe space full of our cousins and love us, and we can say it loud and proud and not give half a fuck. One, two, three. Woo! Alright, read that one again, Quay. Brushstrokes, pen marks, and that zone after the wall is a story in my art. You see the pain in every line. Sarah. I've named my plants after 80s actors. Leifer Sutherland has died. Judges. Let's go to Quay. Castle far away from here. Judges. And that one went to Jay. Y'all give it up for Jay. <laughs> so, Dave, I gotta ask a question because you did the 100 gold coins in the sky, too. That's Mario content, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Purple side, Zoe. Green side, Quay. Don't go that way. <laughs> Quay, you can go first. I see her future, and I'm scared of what I see, but I see hope. So? Dead to me, but to you, I was never really there. Judges? And now we're going to go to Zoe, but y'all give it up to Quay. <laughs> Sipping sick vinegar on hills while niggas out here trying to kill. So. Got so much pride you wear it like a fool. I would too if I were you. Judges. <laughs> and that one went to Zoe. Got a final coming up. Best of seven. 
coming back up. Let me go back to my page, remember who it is. Yeah. On the purple side, y'all give it up for Melly. Oh. And on the green side, y'all give it up for Kenzie. Oh. And Melly's making the debut tonight. Kenzie came to this one time before and won the main slam. Yeah. The intrigue. <laughs> Four and four. That's the seven. Melly, you go first. Feel good, y'all ready? Got the mic how you like it. Feeling good? Because this is it. Y'all shut it down. Pour it onto the leaves. Extract essence of flower. Water did it all. I don't even look like myself. You're not the one I miss anymore. That's going to go to Melly up one to nothing. Can't see it to go first. We're going to seven. These days when you're not thriving, you're surviving, just waiting to die. Patience. Trust that exactly what you need is here already on this earth. Judges. That one went to Melly too. Up two to nothing. But I like Kenzie and I want to speak briefly on the concept of community care and surviving and thriving. Reach out to the people in your community, which sometimes includes people you haven't included in your community yet. Expand your community and help everybody survive. And once you can help everybody survive, then we can start trying to thrive. But there should not be a small group of people thriving while there's a bunch of people trying to be surviving. So expand your concept of community to include more to help everybody have survive, and then we can all rise to thrive. Don't get stuck in your thrive that you forget those that are having a hard time to survive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kenzie, you down two to nothing, going to four. As a child, I learned to run on the gravel free of the pain. I wish I was still that girl. Allie? You want it, it's there. You don't have to worry about where you'll fit in. Judges. That one goes to Kenzie, two to one. Melly, you're up two to one, and you get to go first. I don't want to think about my future job no motivation barely even to draw <laughs> living poor is being in crisis mode 24 7. judges and that one went to melly up three to one going to four Even if I could go back, I no longer belong with you. Practice love towards self. I know that I should quit smoking. There's always an other. There's always an something. That's what I saw 17. Judges. All right, that one went to Kenzie. Up three to two, Melly. You get to go first. One four. Kesha raise us all. <laughs> Only love can save us now. A bleached blondie. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. I be stealing from the Walmart self checkout. <laughs> <laughs> Now we went to Kenzie, three to three. All right, when we do this final round, we get a little personal with our competitors. How'd you end up in charge, Ellie? Uh, tonight I just drove here. But I mean, originally you drove here? Yeah, I just went to Okay, you went to school here, Belly went to school here at UVA. What'd you study? Texas. College, Kenzie. Where'd you grow up? Harrisonburg. Harrisonburg. Huh? Rockingham County. Rockingham County. That one of the best demolition therapies in the state. <laughs> you come to Charlottesville for foster care. Foster care. So what I'm saying is, we are all equals on this stage. In this city of Charlottesville, which is built on the education industry, an industry, a lot of people come here and then they leave. 
lot of people live here and stay here. The community is people that put in the time in the physical space. The longer you are at a place, the more you are part of that community. That ain't no best to college students at UVA. That's just me saying I've been in this area for 20 years and I'm still a transplant. You earn your spot in the community through your actions and in the Southern Gothic so, Future Estate, we are all equals. So I just want to point that out before these two lovely, lovely people read their last haiku. Melly, you get to go first. The mics are for display only. Vote for what pleases you, not others. Uh, okay. uh, I thought losing you took the wind out of my chest until I saw the look in mom's eyes. Judges. And that one goes to Kenzie, y'all. and this is how we do it. I need y'all to tell your friends and bring a friend and come back and do it again because again, this is not about me. This is not about who does this the best this time. This is about us getting together regularly and sharing what we got to say. We doing this again Thursday night in Richmond yep. and we doing it at a date that I can't remember next month but if you go to on the interwebs ravenmac.com backslash haiku slams you'll have the full schedule of events i even try to update my website fairly half time regularly don't forget to check out the table with my wonderful books and zines because right now i'm broke y'all i can use a little chicken money thank y'all for coming out i love y'all Thank you.